Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miro and today we're talking about basic composition elements. Uh, I was thinking about doing three different composition elements. Uh, the basic ones just take photos of each one separately and then in the end try to incorporate all the three into one shot. I'm going to be explaining how they work, why they work, why we use them, why they make photos that much more interesting, that much more awesome. And if you combine more of them into one shot, probably that's gonna be the banger shot. Let's just get to it. I'm actually at my job right now, so I need to finish this first before we start taking photos. Here we are! Today's three base um, composition elements I want to talk to you about are symmetry, um, leading lines and dots. Now I'm going to start off with leading lines because these are the most um, commonly used uh, composition elements in, in photography. A lot of people use them and they just add the dynamic to the shot. So what are leading lines? These are leading lines right here yeah? and these are all pointing towards me showing my face if you don't know that this is a subject Yeah, then leading lines pointing towards it So you can put leading lines coming from the front to the back from the left to the right And if you do like a front back situation and then you place your subject um, on the back uh, This actually makes the viewers eye follow the leading line towards the subject and now what you have is a dynamic image instead of a still image. So you're looking at a photo, your focus is the dynamic part, it's following the path. And if you can tell a story along that path, then kudos to you, that's a good leading line image. So the second base composition I'm gonna talk to you is symmetry. Symmetry is very simple, you have the left side, the right side, top, bottom. Now anything that's basically equal, equal, not same, but equal left, right for instance. So, so don't just make an image, cut it in half, copy it to the other side because that's just gonna look weird. But you know, find architecture, find elements, find something in nature if you can that's equal left to right. Bam, there's your shot. And if you place the subject in there, the subject is going to pop out because it's, it, it just doesn't fit, especially if you put it a little bit to the side. Then it, it doesn't fit to that symmetrical background and it makes the subject pop. Now, the third element is going to be dots. Now, dots are very interesting um, as a composition element because they draw so much attention to them that you know the, view, the viewer just cannot ignore them. For instance, take this image of the sky. Now, the background is there, the foreground is there, there's a lot of dead space in the sky, so nothing's really happening in that image. But if I then unbrush back the moon, wow, that's just a dot in the sky and it's just sucking all of the attention. Now, you cannot ignore that that's not placing your focus onto that moon because it's just poking you in the eye. So, using dots is, is a very cool way to magnify the subject, especially, of course, if the dot is the subject. Uh, uh, and, and this is where you need to be careful because if you have a subject right here and if you have some sort of dot right here, um, that's gonna just stick out and you know when you watch the photo you know your focus is always going to go towards that dot which is you know right here so if I have my hand right here it, it's not a it's not a big element I can even put it away but you know that's that's drawing your attention it's bright it's there there's no reason for it to be there so you're not watching me you're watching the hand right now or something similar I hope you get the point but those are the three elements that um, I want to be covering today and I want to do them all in one shot so how am I going to do that well so there we go we have the trees as leading lines the roads dividing the image into two halves symmetrically and that little dot right there well that's me Well, that's it for today. We've covered three basic composition elements, leading lines, symmetry, and dots, how they work together, how they make an image more special, more pop, more depth, more wild, whatever, whatever you wanna call it. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, smash it, you know, the Peter McKinnon style. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks a lot, guys. This means a lot to me. So um, yeah, I'll be just seeing you in the next one.